Hey everyone, this is Hadi, co-founder of Trades AI. In this video, I'll give you a tour of our Elite Premium Indicator and Trading View. I'll try to keep it as short as possible. We have a full documentation on our website or on the indicator page. They can go over for detailed descriptions of the algorithm and the different features and how to change different settings. First of all, to get access to the indicator, you'll need to head to our website, tradesai.com, and pick one of the subscription plans that we have. Those include the indicator, the VIP signals, or in the future, auto trading bots. So we have different plans, uh, whether you want individual, um, like an indicator only, or the signals only, or the mix, the elite. So uh, you can pick whatever suits your uh, requirements and your trading. Once you've paid for your subscription, you'll receive a welcome email with instructions on how to get started. Please make sure to check your junk or spam folder as sometimes our messages land there and if so please make sure to mark uh, any email you receive from us trades ai as a safe sender um, or a safe message so that you receive future communications from us to get started you can search for trades ai the indicator by typing trades ai so here i have trading view loaded if you go to the indicators section in here and search you can type trades ai here one word as you can see as it's uh, written like this, Trades AI, uh, or just go to the invite only section after you've been granted access to the indicator. You'll find it in the invite only section. So this is the one, Trades AI Elite Premium. Now you can click on this icon in here, read more to review the details of the indicator. Please make sure you read this page. Uh, you'll find a, uh, uh, the same instructions or details uh, with more documentation on our website. If you go to the resources section uh, or the documentation section on our website, you'll find how to use Trades AI indicator and uh, the full documentation. Before you use the indicator, please make sure to boost it by clicking on the rocket icon in here on the indicator page. And then you can scroll down and read the instructions and see the different features and screenshots, some samples, examples that we have in here on this page for every functionality of the indicator. And then you can add it uh, to your favorite by clicking on uh, the star icon in here, add to favorite, you'll be able to add it to your favorite, which is uh, makes it easier for you to access it uh, from the indicators page. Once, again, once you've been granted access, you will see this green lock in here. If it's red for any reason, please reach out to us at support at tradesai.com or log out from trading view and log in again and refresh the page uh, just to make sure that uh, sometimes the trading view has a glitch sometimes it it, uh, it shows it as a red although if granted you access so try to log out and log in and try again so to add the indicator to your chart just click on it like this and it will load sometimes for the first time it takes time sometimes 10 20 seconds because of the heavy calculations in our uh, algorithm and machine learning models that we have uh, once it's loaded this is how it will look like on your chart so what i'll do now is i will uh, disable all the features and then go over them one by one by clicking on the settings in here and you'll be able to see all the settings again you can scroll down read the tooltips next to each setting by hovering the mouse over this eye icon here so make sure you understand the different features of functionality. If for any reason you see an error message next to the indicator and it's not loading, or like it says timeout or calculation problem, just go to the settings. Again, just click on the settings icon and disable, enable any of the settings. Just, just disable it and then enable it like this. What this will do is it will reload the indicator calculation and then it will fix that problem. Or you can click the X, remove it, and then go again to indicators and add it again to your chart. That also would fix the problem. Okay, so we have uh, the main features of the indicator. We have the trend lines, we have the market structure breakouts or MSBs, and then we have what we call the OB slash ROB. So what I'll do is I'll disable everything and just keep trend lines as a beginning. Again, there's a lot of options you can change for each section of those. So each section is written in here. So this is for the OBs, for the peaks and the valleys. This is for peaks and valleys. This is for trend lines. So each section is further options to adjust. So trend lines, to keep it simple, you will see it drawn like this. Uh, green is an area to buy or long. So when price touches the line, you're going to buy or long. Um, 
if it's a red one, it's a place to sell or short. By uh, definition, when a trend line is drawn, it's drawn like this, the solid line. Let's say it's a green uptrend, like this. Once it breaks below it and closes below it, the specific conditions, then it will turn from a green solid into dashed line red, just like this one in here. So we call this backside trend line. We call this initial trend line. So the initial form of the trend line is a solid line, and once it breaks, it becomes a backside. And the same for the red ones. This was a red solid uh, trend line, downtrend, and then once it broke above it, it became dashed green. So it turns from a resistance, resistance, resistance into closes support. So when price hits it, it will be support. So to keep it simple, anything, any trend line you see in red color, whether it's dashed or not, or solid, it's a short opportunity or a sell opportunity or an opportunity to take profit if you're if you're in a long, if it hits uh, the red trend line. While for the green one, this one or these ones, green, it's opportunity to long or to close, take profit for short positions. Again, based on your risk management and your strategy, you could set your stop losses and take profits as you see. These give you the entry zones. Now we move to the next option, which is the MSBs. I'll disable the trend lines. I'll enable the MSB. I'll switch this to the algorithm. Uh, sorry, to the to the logarithmic scale because I'm on a logarithmic scale. I'll enable it, and there you go. So, regarding the logarithmic chart scale, by default, TradingView has it on linear. So when you open any chart, it's on linear. However, you can switch to logarithmic scale if you want uh, a logarithmic view of the chart. From here, you can uh, read more on. Uh, what the difference between logarithmic and linear uh, on Google or any trading resources. Um, but you can switch on the chart, the logarithmic and the um, auto or the linear from these two icons in here. And then go to the indicator and make sure this matches what you have. So if you have a logarithmic chart, switch to logarithmic uh, algorithm. If you have a linear chart or automatic chart, switch to linear. So here I have logarithmic, I have a logarithmic and I have the MSP enabled. And this changes the calculations for most of the features. So make sure that um, you see the difference between the two. Okay, so this is an MSB. Again, whenever you see a green dotted lines, it's mean a zone of buying or longing. So when price went down to here, this is an area to buy or long. Or if you are in a short, breakout short, because of this double top in here, then this is an area to take profits or uh, close your short position. So if you replay mode in here, so I'll play and you will notice that price literally just hit the zone. And then from here to date, Bitcoin made an old, uh, a new all time high. So that's MSB. What you've seen now is a double top MSB or a bearish MSB. So you long it. Uh, so, uh, whenever you see it, a bullish MSB. So it's a, a double bottom. Then it's an opportunity to short or sell. So when you see dotted red lines, it means short. When you see dotted green lines, it means long at these zones. Or you could do it as a breakout with the direction of the price. Okay, so that's MSB. And now quickly we jump into order blocks, OBs. So peak and valley OBs. So let me replay on here. So you will see again red and green. Red is a short opportunity or sell. Green is a long or buy opportunity. That's how order blocks are. And if you enable reversal order blocks, pretty much they are, we have an advanced algorithm that is tracking a lot of details uh, for the ROBs. But in simple terms, whenever OBs break aggressively and you have a close beyond them, they turn into ROBs. This is a simple term. Obviously, the algorithm has a lot of other factors to, to decide which ROBs to show and which, which ROBs not to. But here's a simple form. As you can see, red neon is a, a bearish ROB. So it's an area where you can short. As you can see, price hit it and went down. Green means buy. So as you can see, price went down to it, hit it, and then went up. So again, if I'm looking at a chart like this and I see a green box, then I place, I can buy in this zone when it touches the box. You can also buy near the zone. Again, depending on your strategy, if you're doing momentum trading, for example, momentum trading means if price is going up, um, maybe you, you wouldn't want to wait for a touch. You could enter with a market order somewhere in here, as long as price is still near the zone. Again, up to you and your risk management strategy, but these and uh, 
this is basically what you would do with a rob so again if price if we move price from here you'll see it did another touch in here and went up so now we have this new uh, rob created so as you can see they touched it and then went up and so on so that's um, that's what robs are and that's pretty much it for the indicator uh, again a lot of details you need to go over the documentation we'll be posting uh, detailed videos as we go and and tutorials on each um feature and each setting but just wanted to have this uh, short video to give you an idea about the different features of the indicator thank you